As you watch tutorials, you might find that a lot of artists use Dynamesh to block out their models. That's because Dynamesh is an awesome tool that allows you to think outside of the constraints of topology and technology and instead sculpt digitally as if it was real clay. What Dynamesh does is it recalculates all the topology of your model into nice, even quads and it also merges everything together, like so. You can see now that the tentacle that was once separated is now merged in. And so are the little fingers. This is a very powerful tool, especially when you are blocking out and starting off your model. Notice how the topology is pretty even in size. And if I wanted to really push this, like give him a big old spike, for example, I would start to get problem topology right there that I couldn't really detail or do much with. It's okay, Dynamashing will fix the problem. It's important to note that Dynamesh will only affect all of the models within one subtool. So all of the ones that are in a separate subtool, the head for example, are not affected. Here's how to do it. To find the Dynamesh button, go to Geometry under the Tool panel, Dynamesh, and hit this big old Dynamesh button, which turns on Dynamesh mode. It will also Dynamesh your model automatically. While this button is on, you can do any changes you'd like to your model, then control click and drag on the canvas and it will automatically re-dynamesh with the same settings as before. One of the most important functions of Dynamesh is the Dynamesh resolution. The higher this number, the more dense or smaller the squares will be. If I want a more crisp resolution, I'll turn up my Dynamesh resolution and hit Dynamesh again and look at that, it's a lot crisper. If I want to go really low poly, turn down the resolution, and look at that. If you don't want your Dynamesh to merge all of your 3D models together that are inside of a single subtool, simply turn on the Groups button and that will protect your groups. Hit Dynamesh and look at that, we still have my poly groups totally untouched. If I press on Control and Shift and click, you'll notice that they have not merged at all. The Polish button will find all of the crevices and high points of your model and make them nice and crisp as if it was clay polish. So let me go ahead and add some edges right here. Then I'm going to dry mesh again with polish turned on and look at that. Those are very straight and nice. The blur slider will control how much smoothing happens whenever we dyna mesh. So let's compare the default to blur to a higher amount. See how it's much less crisp and much more smooth right here? If you want to retain as much detail as possible from the original mesh, turn on Project and Dynamesh. It might take a little bit longer, but it'll definitely try to retain all the detail it can. Dynamesh is a life-changing type of tool, so I recommend trying it.